Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys how to set up my latest release. It is Arcade Classic Edition. Um, you know, I was just through a video out there before showing you guys I was working on it and actually got a lot of positive feedback. So I thought, you know what, I'll turn it into a release and pump it out by Christmas. So here we are Christmas Eve day and um, the release is ready to rock and roll. It's a nice light build. Uh, so let's get started. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and download the Arcade Classic Edition. So I have it downloaded here. We've got arcade.zip, Zen 01, 02, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, what we're going to want to do is go to the Arcade Classic Edition uh, without the Z's next to them. Right click, go to Extract here. And what I've already done is copied it over to the root of my C drive. So once you have it, you'll have a folder called Arcade Classic Edition. You're just going to want to take that folder and put it on the root of your C drive. So I'm right in my C. Here is Arcade Classic Edition. Uh, it's only 3.83 gigabytes. You guys can add to it if you want, which I'll do in a future video. Uh, but for now, let's uh, check it out and configure our controls. So we'll go into Attract. So basically, um, just a nice small build. Uh, I'm going to mute it. It's got the NES Classic sound effects, uh, like scrolling sounds and background music. So first thing we're going to want to do is let's do our controller. So press Tab on your keyboard. And use your arrow keys, go up to controls, press enter. And for, I'm using Xbox 360, so that's uh, what I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to set it up. But we're going to hit enter on back. We'll start at the top here. And for the back button, um, I like to use B on my 360 controller. So add input and I'll press B. I've already set this up. Okay, so what I'll do, ah, whatever. I'll use the X button on my 360 controller for back. That's fine. There we go. So now if I press X on my controller, I back up. Uh, we'll go to up, and I do my D-pad, but you can use your analog stick. You can even have both if you want. So I'll do add input, D-pad up, and I can also do add input, press enter, and do my thumbstick up as well. So now up and my D-pad both work. And then I'll press my back button and go ahead and do that for down. So go to down, press enter, add input, enter. I'm going to do down on my D-pad. And I'm also going to do down on my left thumbstick. So go ahead and do that for left and right. Now for select, we're going to use the start button. This is to choose a game. You're going to press start to choose a game. So press enter and go to add input and press in, add input, press start. So now we have a backup button, we're moving up and down, and to go into anything else, we can use our start button. So let's scroll all the way down. If you wanna be able to uh, configure, like get into this menu using just a controller, we can set that up. I usually use um, my, my right joystick like a button, so my R3. So we'll press enter on configure, go to add input, and I'm going to click R3 like a button. There we go. Press back. So this is a little iffy. Uh, it's not iffy, it just doesn't work 100%, but for previous letter and next letter. But I do set them. This is a smaller build, so you don't need to, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll set it. Um, press enter. Add input. I use my uh, left bumper for previous letter and my right bumper for next letter. Add input, right bumper, back up. So we get into custom one. So for custom one, you're going to want to use the A button on your 360 controller. So add input, press A, back up. 
For custom 2, we can use the B button on our 360 controller. Add input, press B. And for custom 3, this is to add favorites. So I use the back button or select button, whichever you want to call it. So add input, I'll press the back button, which is select on most controllers. And that's it. So our controller is now configured. You can see we can go up and down, uh, change filters. So for filters, if I were to press A on filters, it'll take me to favorites. I don't have any favorites yet. So I'll go back to all. You can see in the top right hand corner. I could press B as well, and it does the same. But let's just say I want to add a favorite. Let's just press select or the back button if you're using 360. And there you go, added to favorites. Let's go up here to filters, press A or B. And there's my favorites right here. If I want to take it out of favorites, just press the back button again. We'll go to all, and now favorites has nothing. So one cool thing um, that I want to show you guys, my hat's off to Orion's Angel because he's got some phenomenal bezels that work in main. So let's go ahead and show you one. So let's start with Batman. Um, we'll press start to launch it. Um, it might take a bit to launch, that's just because I'm recording. And there we go. Awesome bezel. Really nice. Um, and then what we're going to want to do in main here is configure our controller. So you can press tab on your keyboard. And you can do input general for all games if you choose. So I like to start at other controls. Go to one player start. Press enter. And I'm going to press my start button. And I go down to coin one. I press enter. And I use my back button. Those are set. Return to previous menu. Um, you can do user interface if you want. I just have mine set up with uh, my keyboard. I don't have it set up to my controller, but you can do UI up, down, left, right uh, to pick something, stuff like that. But I don't set this up. That's totally up to you guys. Um, player one controls. So let's do player one up. You can use your, I'm using my D-pad but you can use your uh, analog stick as well. Up, down, left, right. I never mess with uh, the, the right stick up, right stick. I never do any of that. Uh, button one. And you just configure your buttons however you feel most comfortable. Oops. Button one, I actually want to be that. Button two. Button three. Button four, button five, and button six. I'm just going to do six buttons. There we go. Turn to previous menu. If you want, you can change your buttons uh, per game in the input this machine. So for this machine, um, I've got up, down, left, right. And then for button one, I'm actually going to use my X button. And button two, I'm going to use my A button. There we go. Return to previous menu. Return to machine. So we can pump in some quarters. And there we go. We're playing Batman. So one thing I want to show you guys right now is we have to press escape to exit. So if you want to be able to exit from your controller, um, go ahead and hit tab on your keyboard unless you did a configure button. I used my R3. Go up to emulators, press start, go to main, press start, and we have an exit hotkey. So this actually has something in there. So what I'm going to do is press start. And I use start and select at the same time. There. So I have start and select set. So we'll back up. And let's show you another game. So, I don't know. Here's Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Press start. So 
So this one's a generic bezel. Anything that didn't have uh, like its own bezel, I just use a generic one. Um, but we're pumping in quarters here, and I could press start and select at the same time, and we're back to the original. Um, this is running MAME 0192. This is the latest MAME release um, as of this video. But look at these bezels. I mean, they're really, really nice. Uh, I love the vertical ones the most. I just they just add to the to the to the nostalgic feel. Um, and I'll show you right now. Those sounds are there. <laughs> so press start and select. So let's just start from the top here at the beginning and just kind of go through the games real quick. So we start with 1941, 42, 43. Uh, I'm not going to name every game. I'll just kind of scro scroll through and let you guys see. I try to put as many classics as I can. If there's games missing, you guys can definitely add to it. Um, and that's coming up in a future video. I'm going to show you guys how to add to it, um, as well as make sure that your bezels are all good and stuff like that. Uh, basically, I wanted to get this just a small build out before Christmas for your, everyone to enjoy. And uh, this is a 32-bit build, so a track mode 32-bit, and MAME is also the 32-bit version as well. Um, I've gone through the ROM list, because most ROMs lists, you get Mortal Kombat, then you get Mortal Kombat 3, and then you get Mortal Kombat 2. I don't like that. It just bugs me. So I, I went and modified it to Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and then 3. Um, but we've got quite a few games here. That I think everyone will enjoy. And like I said, you can add, you can take away. Totally up to you. Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. Then we've got Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter 3 Second Impact, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Strider, Sunset Riders. So for the, I've added the two player versions of Sunset Riders. Um... We've got Tapper, and because the NES, uh, SNES Classic had Star Fox 2 as like a bonus game, I threw in this bonus game right here. So this is a Root Beer Tapper Hack Simpsons Edition. So you get the original Tapper, the Budweiser Tapper. Let's launch this up. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we'll just kind of go through this real quick. So it does use the Root Beer Tapper... Um, bezel but as you, as you can see there there's homer and mo is your bartender so we'll press start and there's uh chief wiggum uh the alien dr hibbert was there there's lenny barney carl so just a little like added bonus game uh turtles is two players turtles in time is two players i've done tech n one two three and tag tournament um, I actually just picked up Tag Tournament for the PlayStation 2. It's mint for 4 bucks uh, Canadian, which I thought was a great deal because it's a good game. Tetris. The Simpsons is the two-player version as well. And then Vigilante, Superstars, WrestleFest is one of my all-time favorite games. Same with Wonder Boy. Uh, gotta have Wonder Boy. X-Men is two players. And that's all the games there, guys. So that's all I've added. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy this build. I uh, really appreciate you watching. I just want to say, uh, you know, I'm I'm very glad that I've, I've reached 1,500 subscribers on YouTube. And I'm really grateful for everyone that's uh, supported everything that I'm working on. And 2018 is going to be a big year. Uh, I got a huge build that I'm working on. Like, it's crazy big. Uh, I've already ordered a 8 terabyte uh, external hard drive. It's not going to be that big, I don't think, but we'll we'll have to wait and see. Um, I think the best way for me to release the build is in packs so that people don't have to download an entire terabytes and terabytes and terabytes of, of content if they don't need it. Uh, but trust me, that that's uh, it's, it's in its early development right now, and I'm really trying to pump it out as best I can. So work's starting to slow down, I think, in the new year, so I'll be able to, to do as many builds for you guys as I possibly can. Um, also, Hyper Arcade, I mean, it's been a big hit with a lot of people, and so add-on packs will continue to roll out uh, as, as much as I can work on them. Uh, but, I mean, this is Arcade Classic Edition. Very well maybe my last Classic Edition release, uh, time will tell. 
Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, and, you know, if you want to support me, there's a donate button on my homepage there on the YouTube channel. Or there's, uh, you could become a patron and have early access to a lot of my stuff um, and things of that nature and just support my channel. Um, like I said, I'm really appreciative to all my subscribers and all my patrons as well. So really appreciate you guys watching. Have a Merry Christmas and have a good day.